Vamos a hablar con él. I think we're going to go with that. But I want to see the black just in case. Yeah, um, a little bit more. So. How long do I these come in? Like, is this going to be one straight sheet? One straight up. So it'd be a clean line. Yeah, it'd be a clean line. The only thing is, see here, this is eight foot. Black or gray? I don't, I don't like the black. Isn't it? The black is to everything you put on top of the black that shows the, 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 you know, the story all the time that you can see. Yeah, you know, it's every, and the more black it's gonna be, uh -huh. it's always gonna be. You have to keep it yep. very clean. Let's go with that gray one. I think, yeah, I think because of the tile, that dull one. Let me see this one. Yeah. This right here, not too shiny, Perfect. but gives it a more clean, rich look. Yep. The same reveal mm -hmm. that I'm having here. I want the same reveal here. Yep. We already done this one. It'll be fine, but that way when we do the grout. You know, I get a little bit, my grab kind of follows the same thickness. Yeah. Perfect. So, we're still maintaining our five foot. Yes. Deal. I had a question for you right here, actually. So, I got the planes done this morning, mm -hmm. and we just had a question on when we line up here and we come out, this doorway right here has to, you have to have a five foot radius to come around, right? So, it's going to be, about five foot, then it's five foot, and then it's, a, it's an opening. Right. So we're left about 12 feet in the middle. Correct. Do we really need the wall? No. Yeah, short answer, no. I'll just say as long as you have something in closing that fridge. You want it not to little. be the fridge to be seen coming this way. Yeah. Okay? So, do I need to do all this elaborate, or do I just do a wall straight across? Um, because I'm choking this front down when maybe all I need is just this little angle right here. If you do that, you can bring this a foot, baby, a foot. What's up, Marlene? You good? Hi. You good? Question. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the vlog. Just finished up the morning walkthrough and now. What are you about to do, Kels? Making the spreadsheets. Making the spreadsheets. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so today we just wanted to walk the scope right and kind of see, you find out what we got the numbers, everything in place, and what the game plan is, and time period, and timeline, and everything. Just to clean, just take the ground up off. and then exactly. come on top of it. And then we're gonna do the leveling. E again, some areas are gonna be deeper and some areas are gonna be less deeper. It depends on the level of the earth because we, we feel it's a flat right now, but we're gonna have some, yeah, four I know or five this, inches. I know that area was pretty good. That, that was, and then this is gonna be the this is the, the forest, but at the end, it's gonna be probably four inches higher than the surrounding area just to let the water run out of the court. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna have a, a big issue. The field is gonna have a slope in, like this, both sides, to let the water run out of the field. What do you, what kind we're gonna of push it to the side. Right now, we are uh, standing at the beginning of the basketball court. You just can't see it yet, okay? But this right here is gonna be the start of the 90 foot long basketball court. 90 feet this way, 50 feet this way. It's huge. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up, it's good! Yeah, perfect. And, you know, if you put in one of those... I already have a gate, a great gate that's in there that I can put right there. Put right there. So th that would work. We can do that. Well, People are running. Yeah. Right here. Bay doors are open up. Competition going. There's noise out here. People mm -hmm. in there making noise and everybody's watching. Yeah. Be better here. 
something better than over there. I think it'd be better right here. Right here. Just right yep. here. We're doing a full core basketball court. Uh, I, I need just five. But we're doing a full core basketball. <laughs> no and we're doing a hundred yard yeah, sprint. I think three lanes. If we keep him full track. Keep you in this in this plane right here. So fifth and two hundred and forty five. See yep. the coolest gym. From that world. joint to the red. Yeah, let me show you to Hell yeah. Doors are up, air's flowing through, doors are up on both sides of this gym. You got music blasting. Right here, you got the three lane track where you, got, you still got the vibe, you know? Everything's kind of within this area. Gym one, then gym two, then you have the track, then you have the basketball, then you have gym three. Bleachers on the shade over there. Some seating here. We got these Alflam benches will be kind of like laid out right here in the nice areas. And uh, right up there, the second floor right there. That's the VIP lounge, that's the bar. That's where I'm gonna be just chilling after a long day's work. Just enjoying it, man. Can't wait. But until then, we got some work to do. What? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey mom, what do you have for, uh, for the YouTube for Alpha Eats? Do you have what, 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 what have you been working on? Oh, what have I been working on? Just. Just trying to per, uh, okay. make a lot of recipes and and make it look re make it really okay. good and okay. make it look really pretty. And I sent uh, you the designs and stuff, right? I haven't shown them the, any of that. No, but the show. food is gonna look pretty. Too. It's gonna match that how it looks, right? So you just yeah. the food is gonna look. I want the food to look pretty. Oof. Yeah. It already tastes good. Yeah. It's, first, it's gonna taste good. If you don't mind this, if you don't mind, like, only getting more than three collections and all seven or something, then that's different. I'd rather get her one for you know? each collection. Um, well, all the ones that we didn't want are axed out. These are already in Okay. One, two, we do need, not that one. We do need this one, this one. Okay. So my thoughts aren't, like, fully done here. It's kind of done, but... Oh wait, let me see some of You mind if I film Dan, is that cool? Uh, a little bit, I show the plans? Man, I didn't, didn't comb my hair, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what we got, man? That's right, so we have a, a Japanese U. So these are the ones that we're gonna use for the back patio area. Okay. Get some privacy for you guys. Okay. Um, these are gonna be planted tight together. Um, it's gonna be about eight foot planted, so maybe just a little bit taller when it's, once it's planted. Okay. Um, we're gonna spray these off at the top and create a hole. Um, and do they kind of, do they square off here and here, or is it just more so the top? We can, but since we're trying to create a fence, we want them to grow into each other. Cool. So it's gonna create a whole privacy fence Perfect. back there. Then you got your wax the dust room here in the front. This will be for the area for the big door. Um, okay. So these are the ones that you can square and shape. And we've got these to divide up this area over here from the corporate building. How many gallons is this one? This one's a three gallon. Three gallon. Yeah. And we're ordering. Oh, we, we've got to think about two or three hundred of these. Two or three hundred. Yeah, two or three hundred. So we got quite a bit of planning to do and it's all done by hand. Yeah. So and then, you know, we're going to have uh, close a little bit close to 100 if not a little bit over 100 of these is this like that's is normal size or do, how big do they get how uh, can they well no no these get pretty big they big. Big. even trim them like pens. yeah then you start shaping it and you let it grow to the desired height uh so what you do at the beginning is you just trim the sides that way all the growth goes vertical and it starts growing up um these are fast growers these are fast growers they do really good against bugs you don't have to worry about pests or you know bugs chewing up on them okay um they're fairly easy to maintain Cool. So what are you saying like six months after being planted and everything? Uh, would there be decent growth? Oh yeah, they should be a good nine, ten feet. Nine, ten feet. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah they're the fast growers. And then we're going to give you the fertilizer and all the hormone and stuff to, to help shoot it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's just part of it. And you know, that way the root is established good. Cool. You know, just having to plant or in July or August is the hardest part. When's the best time to plant? In the cooler months. Uh, the fall, the best time is actually late February. Yeah, right. But I know we're on the time crunch, so. Yeah, I mean, we can get it in there and, and uh, you know, fertilizer and the root hormone, okay. you know, takes care of the rest. Cool. Yeah. Of course, these two are the main, yes. main mm -hmm. pieces here. That we exactly. Have. Yep. And then you got the oleanders behind the hotel area. Okay, just like the one we have already. Yeah. Okay. So, but those are going to come in three gallons, about these, this size. However, those are also fast growers. So once you get those on the ground, I mean, within a year, you'll see a difference. Yeah. 
We're about to hop into a workout. Today we have Ryan Dengler, we got Heidi in here, we got uh, Brooklyn in here, and uh, it's gonna be a pretty good time. So, with no further ado, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the sickest set of your life. Little tip for you guys. The seal just asked me how come I swing on my dumbbell, on my bicep curls. You're not supposed to be swinging like this, right? But what I found is that on the last few reps of my sets, if I feel like kind of pushing for a few more, what I'll do is I'll use a swing to curl up here. Boom, so I'm swinging my body, right? But my body will never ever break perpendicular. So as soon as my back goes backwards like this, I'm swinging like this and over arc that's arching, that's the no-go. That's when you have a high risk of injury and you set yourself up to hurt something. So it's okay to swing a little bit here in the forward to help yourself get that weight up. Then my body's perpendicular, right? And straight, then you come down slow. Up, down slow. And uh, I figure, oh wait. And use the same pound uh, dumbbells, that would be good too. All right, what's up? We are here outside of Alpha Elite Distribution. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the building where we distribute all of the Alpha Elite product. We also uh, distribute for Buff Money Collection. We distribute for Ever Forward. And uh, yeah, we handle all of that for everyone here at this building. So that's what we do here. Doors locked. Don't have my key. Just kidding, I do have it. Good morning. What's up? It's so hot. I'm so sweaty already. Do they shut it off every day? It's on. Like the heat? The heat? Yeah, the heat's on. That no, was 74. I think your body temperature just burns it. Oh my gosh. This is where Christian needs it to shoot product photos. Like literally, like, that's amazing. <laughs> She literally tries me every morning to see if I by chance sleep in. So Never do. <laughs> but yeah. Wow, these colors are so good. Hey, I'm going skateboarding, dude. Oh, hey, don't get hurt. Oh, I'm just saying. You need to like keep ice on it though. It hurts when you do that. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it hurt, but like. Cool. Mmm. Mmm. It's real cute. It sucks. I was like all, getting close to landing 360 flip, but then when I did that, I was just trying to do a kick flip, <laughs> and I just did like a really crappy one. And I was like, Did oh. you get your? Did you get it? The 360 flip? No. But I was getting like kind of close, so I was like, Oh, this progression, we can film it. Now I'm not gonna film anything. Hey, at least no leg day. <laughs> I have an excuse. No cardio though. My first thought immediately was to be like, Oh, I'm just gonna get some, eat ice cream, eat candy. But I was like, I already messed my foot up. I shouldn't lose my game. What's going on guys? This right here is, <laughs> it's turning into my closet, man. This was just like holding a few shirts the other day, I swear. But we're about to go hit a workout real quick. It's been a really kind of all, all over the place day today. Um, and I'm just ready to zone out for an hour or so. And just focus on the lift, my headphones in. So we're gonna do that. And uh, I'm actually gonna explain kind of everything happening right now. The biggest thing is I've learned, <laughs> Speaking of others, uh, at the end of the day, you're on your own, man. People will lead you to think that you have, you know, they're there, they got you, they're, you know, they're looking out for your best interests. But this really gets, and I've always kind of known that, but this really gets amplified when uh, 
there's a project this big and there's a lot of uh, just comfort being kind of built, you know, like you want to, oh, you want to like trust in this and people are just after the money, man, uh, at the end of the day. And people are going to do what they need to do to survive and capitalize on, you know, things and they'll, yeah, you just got to start, you just got to get tougher, man. I feel like I've learned to get tougher. Uh, a lot more just straight up, the more direct. So that's one thing. Um, I think for myself, I think a big one has been, I thought I worked real, I mean, I thought I worked really hard like last year, like during summer shredding, there was like little sleep and it was, you know, I was pushing really, really hard, but this is another level, man. This is like, I didn't know I, I could kind of like, it's not even like working though, I'm kind of just, like, this is my life now, you know, it's like this thing, getting this thing up and running. So I think it's, uh, it's interesting that, like how much you can actually handle. It's funny is that even during the most like overwhelming times in my life, like this is, I already know what's next. I know where I know where it's going. I know the plans for that. Like I, I don't know. It, it can't. You can't let things like so overwhelming to where you just like halt. You got. You have to keep thinking ahead because you have to have a goal. And if you don't have a goal, or or it's something you're excited about doing, I'm like what's the point of doing it? Don't do it. Do something else that you like doing. You know. So I think that's uh, one thing I'm finding. What's the silver silver lining you see slash what do you remind yourself? That's an easy one. That we're building a, a one, nothing that's ever been built before. You can't mimic this, you can't replicate it. You can't copy and paste this anywhere. We're gonna do it bigger and better, not comparing to anyone else, just doing our damn thing. And then just can't wait to see it unfold. Can't wait to re people experience it. Because you kinda like have that place you can go to, you know what I'm saying? That you feel like. You know, I think I have another little thing I'm learning, you know? Don't cut corners. Like, I was, I feel like the whole start of the project, I wanted to kind of save what I could and like make things a little easier. And like, I was kind of settling for like what I, I knew what I wanted, but you, you gotta be realistic and this and that and you get in your head. And it turns out at the end of the day, after like these six months of spending money and learning things and like all this stuff, like, it would have been so much damn easier if you would have wiped the place and recent and done for done it fresh because of like everything I wanted to the full extent. But like I'd never explored that because I knew I thought it'd be like too much. I was holding myself back. But just if you're gonna do something that's gonna be permanent that you're gonna leave your mark on, just do it right. Do it how you want to do it. Find a way to do it how you need to do it. Oh, oh. The good news is I didn't break it or anything. Yeah. I got a bruised bone. Bruise bone. But he said, he was like, to the doctor? Yeah, when he got an x-ray. He said, he said he can't believe with that much swelling and bruising that it's not fractured. He said that I must have really strong bones. Probably the sour, <laughs> sour shrimps. <laughs> it's all the milk when I was a kid, dude. So yeah, he said it's just like, cause it's, it's a little less swollen, but he just said it's like, probably the next like week it's, it's gonna turn like black and blue. Yeah. But he said like, he said like two or three weeks, like it'll just be, it'll go back. Literally the one time, he was going skateboarding and I go, don't break anything. Yeah. I told him that was a semi-professional skateboarder. <laughs> I'm happy because uh, her two sons are here. What's up, man? You want tacos tomorrow? Wow, she's so happy that you're here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You want tacos? Do yeah. Do you eat them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want blue tacos? ones? Yeah. Little ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me see, Jace. Let me see. I want to talk to JC. He gives me lollipops. What's up, Jace? You want to see the stinky the, the what leg? The stinky leg. <laughs> yeah, let me see. The skanky leg? Skanky leg? It was good. Huh? Good. It was good. I'm about to. We're gonna shoot a little video of the board shorts. Oh. I'm not. Are you up? No. You coming home soon?
she made it wet. You say that, you don't even text me back all day. I'm, and, and she didn't text me back last night. She didn't show up to like midnight. I'm over here like at home at 9 or 8.30. She didn't show up to midnight. Hey, I usually come <laughs> home at 6 every day. Yeah. It was just a, it was a rare, uh, rare day. Mm -hmm. A birth from the day. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be home later. All right, so tonight we have a video shoot booked with my... Sorry, bro. It was, it was your time to shine, but it's not meant to be. <laughs> All right, tonight we are filming a promo video for our new Titan board shorts. We got like eight colors of these coming out. These are like the best board shorts that you, this is gonna change the game, like legitimately can change the game. But uh, we have Alex Soplin who was the winner of Summer Shredding 2019. What's up, Zeke, right? Yeah. So we have him, thankfully, so I don't have to model these right now. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up a long night of shooting. Uh, I'm going to quickly just wrap up this video, so thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, looking back at the, the, the footage from that talk on the roof, um, I, after filming it, I was like, man, I feel like I really kind of opened up there um, and kind of like let it out, which I haven't done in a long time, I feel. So I um, hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you can take something away from that, kind of apply it into your own life. And uh, just remember, like, don't ever compare yourself to others. Don't ever worry about what other people are doing. Just literally like stay in your lane, get a little bit better at the thing you like doing, all right? If it's a hobby, just give it attention every day. Do something productive and positive with that. And uh, those little, those little inches, of, inches of gain and, and, and enhancement like that will add up. So I truly believe that. Thank y'all so much. I'm gonna crash. See y'all. <laughs>